Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review, and we're looking at the Generations 30th Anniversary figures. Uh, and this one, I was real excited to see. I couldn't wait for him at BotCon as soon as I saw the picture. I knew I had to have this guy, and I, he finally popped out, picked him up, and it is hoist. Yes, finally a hoist figure. Now, he's pretty much a redeco repaint of the trail cutter figure but that's okay because we got them both in this lineup which is fine with me um yeah so here he is looking all kinds of hoisty um we got the nice 30th logo down there at the bottom there he is in package uh we've got the comic book uh from idw uh included which is kind of cool like the artwork there looks very nice just from the offset loving the head sculpt definitely is uh, Series 2, number 5, and of course is an Autobot. Uh, underneath you can get Orion Pax and Thundercracker. Uh, here is the back of the package. Looking kind of cool. Uh, he's definitely... Alright, so here is Hoist's comic out of package. Again, the cover looks really nice. I do dig this one. Uh, IDW Hasbro exclusive uh, reprint of a IDW book. Again, I have not read this one. This is another one I have not seen. Um, looks kind of interesting. I noticed that the one thing that a lot of these have in common, except for the Orion Pax story, is uh, we see Metroplex in all these books. So it's, I'm interested to see. This has got to be issues out of the um, More Than Meets the Eye, Robots in Disguise. I really kind of fell off the queue with those books, unfortunately. But yeah, looking pretty cool. Now, I did notice in this particular book, he really does look like the figure we have. So I'm presuming that's where this vehicle mode came from was this comic. Again, looking forward to reading that uh, as I've not seen it. So uh, here he is, voiced. Wow, yes, love this paint scheme. I always have that orange and the green and uh, followed up with the uh, yellow stripes um, that he's got. I wish those were a little more dominant outside in robot mode. Uh, very cool. His little hook kind of becomes a blaster. Looks more like a hair dryer to me. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I can't remember. I don't think that he had this bit in the actual cartoon. I think that was only Trailbreaker that had that. Again, it's pretty much Trail Cutters repaint with a different head sculpt. It's got a phenomenal head sculpt. I love this head sculpt. Um, absolutely amazing. The thing that really disappoints me though are the eyes. Um, if you look at the head itself, um, it does have light piping. Uh, but the top half is not uh, carved out with uh, a lit uh, or a lightable plastic. It's it's mostly the head there. Unlike the trail breaker or trail cutter figure had that. Um, now, the one thing I will say, if you can get light up there, which is going to be hard because of this piece, um, the eyes are yellow, uh, which are cool. But you just can't get enough light to him to really get him to glow, which is unfortunate. Um, that's probably my biggest drawback about the figure. Um, other than that, I mean, he's pretty much the same. Highly posable. Very cool. Definitely digging it. Um, it's going to look really great next to the uh, Trailbreaker figure. Unfortunately, he's just not the same scale as the grapple figure. So maybe we'll get a grapple uh, out of this. That'd be kind of nice. I'd like to see that. Uh, that'd be pretty, pretty darn cool. So, yeah, pretty neat. Let's look at his vehicle mode and see what we think of that. All right, so here is Hoist in his vehicle mode. Gotta say, I am digging it. Love the black and yellow stripes, uh, the construction looking stripes. He's got another great, huge Autobot logo up front. Uh, we've got a little more paint detail with the black uh, trim. We've got the silver headlights. Looking real cool. We've got the silver on uh, the wheels. Uh, the orange just really, really pops. Just looks great. Um, this, yeah, it's okay, I suppose. And we can really see how heavily armored this guy is. Um, very cool. Here he is in comparison to 
Trail Breaker, again, they're pretty much the same guy, just a little different paint and a different accessory piece on the back. Um, I'm presuming you could probably interchange these pieces. Dun, dun, dun. And yes, you can. So if I want good old Trail Breaker to be my pickup truck or my crane truck, I can do so, which Actually, it's kind of cool, not too bad. And then maybe I want to turn old hoist into an SUV instead of pickup. I can do so there. Oh, that's kind of an interesting look. Kind of has a brawn look. We could get a brawn out of this. Um, I see bulkhead, I see brawn, I see this figure used again. Uh, absolutely. So definitely digging this guy, like the mold. Um, they are both worth picking up, both worth the $12 to pick up. Um, got the little hook, looking awesome. Real excited about this figure, definitely digging him. Glad he finally came out, uh, glad Trailbreaker came out. So if you see this guy, pick him up. Uh, he's definitely going to be one of the new generation figures that you want on your shelf. So thanks for watching, and look for more videos in the future.